Hey there, StarCraft fans! It's Falcon Balladin coming at you with yet another edition of StarCraft Brood War Remastered. Today, gonna be a DEFCON 1 replay recommended by RJB a few days ago and re recommended today. He reminded me of this cast because he wanted to see it cast, and it's an incredible game. So hit that like button if you're excited. Bottom left of Polypoid, it is our orange Protoss player. It is free. We like this guy a lot, man. And in the top left, it is a red Terran player. It is Barracks. Now look, Free's resume is pretty good. He's known as the Battle God. That is in particular his nickname. Barracks, on the other hand, uh, let's see if he's got any nicknames. How about we look that up during the first minutes of this particular cast? Because nobody seems to be going for a cannon rush or a proxy of any kind. Uh, I don't see any indication of a Nexus first, but I guess it's still possible. And yes, I'm looking for the Pro Gamer Barracks Liquipedia. Thank you for having a link there. His nickname is... <laughs> Korean! It's three Korean letters. Translate. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I can highlight it in Google. Oh, it's translated from Chinese. Um, and translated to Barracks. So his nickname is Barracks. That... what... That's dumb. I don't like that at all. <laughs> kind of hilarious, though, if you think about it. Let's see. Barracks, uh, oh boy. His matchup, his win rate versus Protoss is 33%. It's 59% Zerg and 47% versus Terran. But yo, that is an abysmal win rate versus Protoss. That does not bode well for this game, everybody. I'm just... I mean, look, it's not a guarantee. I've cast plenty of games for players who have like a, you know, 30% win rate against a certain race. They play the race on the channel and then they win. Because guess what? 30% is not 0%. If it was like 0.11%, I'd be like, yeah, he's not winning this. No way. But 30% telling you there's a chance. There's a great chance. And if this game was good enough that RJB recommended it to me twice... And I think it's a good game. This is not just barracks getting bullied and pushed around the field, right? By field, I mean map, because Polypoid is a map. And this is not a sports ball thing. This is an esports thing. But you know what? I love them both. There are dozens of us, dozens of people who love the NFL and, you know, the World Cup and NBA basketball and also professional esports like StarCraft. And, I don't know, I don't really watch any other esports. But, you know, maybe you like Dota or League of Legends. You're into that stuff. It's cool. I like all of it. Anyway, uh, Steve the SCV says, nothing crazy here at all. This is one base. No quick expand. Cool. Zealot showing up. But there's a factory on the way and a couple marines out. And there's just no way Robert the Zealot should really get too much done here. I mean, killing an SCV, worth Oh, Probe got the kill. Probe. Probe got that kill. Yes, definitely Probe got that kill. Love it. Again, it takes about a metric ton of bullets to kill a Zealot. Okay. Well, Probe died, Zealot died, a Marine died, a SCV died. I say it's a wash, but guess who's here? Zealot number two. Who's got Zealot number three? I do. Zealot number three has also arrived. But a Vulture's in production, and I'm not sure if Zealot number three really wants to come in here... He's got to see that factory moving, and he, I mean not moving, but blinking, which tells him that there's something being produced. Yeah. All right, fine. A marine died thanks to the thanks to the work of Robert the Zealot. Yeah, see, he's not going in. He's like, uh, a vulture just came out, and a slow vulture versus a slow zealot is just not really even fair for this. Oh, these SCVs are keeping that zealot alive a little bit longer than he needs to be. Yeah, why don't you come try to fight me, slow guy? We got another SCV. I mean, it's not terrible. Oh, and Third Zealot did decide to join the fray. Oh my gosh, this pressure out of the Battle God is insane right now. He's got a Dragoon. Which don't trade very well versus Marines, but do trade against Vultures. But not if you're already super mega injured. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Ah, uh, maybe he wanted to wait until his buddy was here. <laughs> this is some of the most aggressive early game PVT stuff I have seen. Oh yeah, three kills on that dragoon immediately. Finally, expanding is free. 
It delays your expansion when you send, you know, five zealots and four dragoons up to your enemy base this fast. You gotta keep that in mind, always. If somebody is early pressuring you with army units, it's because they're delaying their economy. That's it, all right? If a zerg shows up with six lings at three minutes, or like two minutes and 10 seconds, I don't know, how big's this map? Anyway, point is, their economy is garbage as a result. So, you know, you can afford to lose some stuff and be okay. Just gotta keep that in mind. What do we got here? Siege tank chasing away dragoons. Tail as old as time. Song as old as rhyme. Tanks and dragoons. Second factory on the way. Second base finishing up here from barracks. And yeah, what I like about this particular match is that RJB recommended it twice and it doesn't feature Jadong or Flash or Bisu or Queen or Rain or JYJ or Royal or Mini or Snow or... Any of the like top, top, top tier Soma, like super top tiers are Terran and Protoss players. This is barracks and free. These guys don't have huge resumes. They've never won ASLs, you know? They've won major tournaments and they've, you know, they've qualified for ASLs and kind of placed, but they're not at the level of everybody else. But RJB was like, yo, cast this match now, por favor. Actually, RJB is Dutch. He does not speak Spanish as far as I know. I don't know what pleases in Dutch. Anyway, he speaks English. <laughs> His English is really, really good. And he has a YouTube channel if you want to check him out. YouTube.com slash at RJB underscore TV. Basically cast like 99% RJB replays these days. Uh, sometimes I go back into the old bucket of games from the 2000s. And thanks to the StarCraft switcher program that I found. I can do stuff from like 2002, 2001 without it breaking. I need to do one of those next week. I'll put a reminder for myself on my calendar. Cast a super old like 2001 replay for next week sometime. You'll enjoy it. Also got a nice Christmas special coming up. It's a best of three series with Flash and Bisu that RJB felt like was very, very worth casting and awesome and amazing. So Christmas special, Flash Bisu, what else do you want, PVT fans? What do you want even not PVT fans? People who don't like PVT will watch Flash Bisu, you know? All right, so Dragoon just kind of walk up and they're like, yo, uh, your tanks don't have siege mode yet. Now they do. Run! <laughs> Get on out. A couple SCVs died. It's 41 probes to 29 SCVs. Not ideal, I would say, but you know. You know, you know. Do you know? You know. If you know, you know. Reaver in production. We got ourselves a faster shuttle movement upgrade. So guess what that means? Reaver drops. Put two and two together, Falcon. We can figure this out. Guess what's up on the other side? Turrets. Because, yeah. He probably scanned. It's always the annoying thing about playing Terran. Is they just have scans. And there's... Like, you can deny observers and overlords to some level, right? But a scan's a scan's a scan. You just, it's gonna show up, it's gonna see what you're doing, and can't stop it. Something inevitable about it, right? Like the sweet, sweet kiss of death. Wow, that was dark. I don't know why that came out that way. I'm doing fine, everyone. All right, the shuttle comes in. Does I can eat one turret? By that I mean, ooh, we did, got all the way in. Tanks are following though. Having your Reaver immediately take tank shots as it unloads is bad news bears. Ooh, good hit, great hit. Zealot dead, so yeah, the functionality here is not as ideal on this Reaver drop anymore. I'm oh, just kidding, oh, you're right, never mind. I wouldn't have unloaded there. Yeah, the Dragoons are like, we were gonna go in if the Reaver was still alive, but Reaver died, so we're just gonna back it out. Don't worry about us. Not even a little bit. So Vulture Speed getting researched, and that shuttle movement would have been nice for that entire engagement, but sometimes you gotta show up sooner than that, right? You can't just let all of your Terran opponents know that you're never going to shuttle drop before the good timing to get shuttle speed. Although, I mean, Barracks is pretty ready for it, right? He was... <laughs> Definitely throwing up turrets when that shuttle, before that shuttle arrived. Anyway, big push here from Barracks. Siege and up, and that's what you want as the Protoss. Siege up here. 
Don't siege up down here. Give me time to get, I don't know, more reavers, apparently. Look at that shuttle speed, man. He's forcing unsiege and siege here because he doesn't want... Yeah, he didn't want any tank splash there. Zealot bombing. Recede. Ooh, he's building a turret so the shuttle can't do that as easily. Like that play. Going for it. Free from the south, kind of. Yeah, all right. This is cool. This is trading. This is simply trading out tanks for dragoons. Trying to make sure the tank count that shows up at his front door isn't 27 dragoons. That it's closer to, like, six. You feel much better about that as a Protoss player. He shoves it back. Third base, happily, happily rolling. Any sign of a third base from Barracks? The answer is not yet. Man, if these zealots had speed, it'd be pretty cool. Does he even have a citadel? He's got a citadel. Oh, Spider Mine, I think this killed three vultures and a dragoon. Spider Mines giveth and Spider Mines taketh away. Shaboom. Shaboom. Siege mode attacks. One of the greatest sounds in all of gaming, man. The sound of a siege tank just going. And this third base is all of a sudden an immense amount of trouble from Free. These. Okay, so Free's. Uh, not doing great. Barracks, 36% win rate against Protoss is, you know, it's not a guarantee. It's kind of put, being put to the test here, you know? Can he save now? Can't. Oh, maybe if the tanks turn all their attention to the incoming dragoons instead of firing on this Nexus. Dude, you have to kill this Nexus. Barracks? Why is Barracks not killing the Nexus? He thinks he can deal with this incoming swarm. He's still slow lots. My gosh, they're still slow lots. Ow, good reaver hit. Nice reaver hit. And dude, this Nexus is alive. Because barracks, oh, hang on, hang on. Re-siege up down here. Scan. Don't have to scan, we're good. And he gets it. Never mind. barracks is fine. It's like, I can deal with that incoming attack and kill an excess too. Why not? This is pretty nuts, man. Vulture's getting another run by in the natural base of free barracks. Putting in immense amount of work here to kill probes and deny bases and keep the Protoss in an unhappy, unnatural state of low econ. Shuttle gets out of there, but has to abandon the Reaver to its fate, which uh, is the fate of being attacked by vultures, mostly. Ooh, did snipe that one. Running away and far away, too. I just, I don't know. The whole mechanics of the Reaver. RJB posted a video on the Discord server the other day. Well, a couple weeks ago now, but talking about the mechanics of the Reaver and why a lot of the time the Scarab explodes harmlessly. It has to do with distance from the Reaver and what zones, what zone the target's in and what zone the Reaver's in. Like there's a lot of like underground programming stuff behind the scenes, background things, like zones that exist in StarCraft that are not immediately apparent if you're playing it or watching it like this, you know? Anyway, if you want a link to that video, let me know. But again, be very specific about this. Say, Falcon, I'd like a link to the video that talks about Reavers that RJB posted in your Discord server, and then I'll know what you're talking about. Also, join the Discord server. It's a ton of fun. It's a great place to hang out. There's a Wraith coming in to help deal with the annoying shuttles and possibly any Arbiters that may be produced later on in the match. 106 to 81 supply free. You know, he's taking his licks. But he's kept on ticking quite impressively. He's heading at the third base of Barracks. Can he get up this area? There are three tanks back here, which honestly doesn't seem like it's enough. Oh, yeah. Zealot bombing on these tanks, too. Pretty good. Good stutter step in. One volleying down the tanks. But then three more tanks are here. The chaos. Zealot, kill as many SEVs as you can. Your time is almost up, friend. 
stick on yeah stand on top of the scvs so that the siege tank splash damage is killing those workers i don't know if there's any room to attack this third command center but uh that was good 48 probes to 40 scvs what a good back and forth this has been i mean come on absolutely disgusting both players have taken their hits here. Both players have lost workers. The only player to lose a base so far, though, is free at this third. But it's back. He's got a fourth base. Rolling 50 probes is fine. He did the economic damage on the other side that he wanted to do. And overall, I don't know. Feels like everyone's okay. Barracks is feeling all right. His tank count did get reset a little bit there. That's never comfortable. And this group of vultures just got caught out and executed without accomplishing anything. So that's not... That is a bad... That's a bad time. The worst. And... Wow. Freeze going for it again? I don't know about this one. There are now... Like, seven tanks? Okay. Okay, but you gotta kill some tanks if you're gonna do this, but... Ooh, Shuttle got sniped by that Wraith. That was pretty cool. Pretty cool and sweet. And my brain said Kweet. Because that's how my brain works. It's like, here's some options. You want to use both of them sometimes? And I'm like, no, but then we do. Oh, Spider Mine's connecting and just getting out. Killed some tanks. Sacked some dragoons. Brought a turret down into burning. Will it burn down or will it be repaired? I think it's going to burn down. No one's even coming to repair it. All right. I don't even try. Not even a try. It's always cheaper to repair than to replace in StarCraft for Terran. Not that Zerg or Protoss can repair. It was obvious from the context, but sometimes context is hard. Something I'm teaching my kids is context. Every once in a while, somebody will say something at the dinner table, and one of the kids will be like, What? That doesn't... What? That, you, that word makes no sense in that context. And it's like, okay. So think about it. What word sounds like that word, but makes sense in the current context? And then they go, Oh. It's like, yeah, just take a minute to think sometimes. That's all you got to teach your kids. Take a minute to think sometimes. I think a lot of adults could benefit from that advice, honestly. Anyway, Templar Archives on the way. Probably for Storm. Could also be for Los Arbiters. Also, there are just observers hanging out up here. No shuttles. The Wraith is scary. It is Storm. And it is a scan. He sees another shuttle and he's like, oh, okay. How many times do I have to teach you this lesson, old man? And then he scans it again. Free's like, I'm trying to be sneaky with this freaking shuttle, please. Why'd he unload it right there? That was strange. I don't know what that was about. Fifth base, warping in, bottom side, free. Probably expanding up here. I don't remember here is a pretty good base. You can put some tanks on the high ground and kind of stage attacks into this natural base. It could be really difficult for the Protoss to deal with it on this map. Vulture scouts the fifth base and says, mm hmm, well, uh, my production tab says I'm making a command center, so don't even worry about it, friends. Yeah, more and more storm all the time here. And if you like StarCraft 2 as well, I've got another channel. It's youtube.com slash at Falcon Paladin SC2. If you want to find some StarCraft 2 stuff, I know that doesn't apply to most of you, but again, there are dozens of us that do enjoy StarCraft 1 and StarCraft 2. All right, so, uh, yeah, the Wraith found your shuttle. Big surprise. As they say in French, Kel Surprise. And actually, the Wraith died, and the shuttle had one more hit to go before it went down. That is huge. Keeping that shuttle alive against Wraith attack just by absolute sheer luck, is incredible. Ooh. <laughs> Vultures are like, we got this. Oh, wait, there's a reaver. Right. Hang on a second. We don't got this. That's what we meant to say. Scans up to see what it is. He's like, yes. The delay on this base, though, is annoying. Siege tanks, siege up. Reaver picked it up before a shot could be fired. Observer explosions are kind of violent for how small they are. I'm not entirely sure what's going on there. Man, see that Goliath was so far away from that Reaver. I feel like this game has really long distance Scarab explosions. Where'd that shuttle go? 
Okay, probably got wiped out, but guess what? Frieza says, you're not getting this fourth base. And he's like, maybe you are. That's a lot of tanks. They have two one upgrades and I'm only at plus one attack. What if we come up the other ramp? How would you deal with that? And the answer is a million vultures staring at the ramp, blocking it with their bodies, sacrificing their lives, eating storms even. Ah, oh, that was a great zoning maneuver. What is this? Zealots? And a dragoon. Spider mines clearing these zealot bodies out pretty effectively. Wow, that was not the greatest of attacks, but hey, Maybe it distracted Barracks a little bit. Nope, Tanks made it up here to this fourth base just fine, thanks. Not happening. Not getting up there. All right, so fine. Free expanding again. To this bottom right corner this time. It's like this whole bottom half of the map, uh, half of the map is mine once I have this, I guess. But yeah, we're getting there. We are moving on. Moving on. We're moving on. Moving on to more PDT. Building a summer home in the bottom right. Ah, yeah, this has been good. I don't know if it's quite reached like epic DEFCON 1 status yet, but we have some StarCraft to go. Maybe even a lot of StarCraft to go. I try not to look at the elapsed time on the replay before I load it in. So I think I have a general concept of where this thing ends, but not, not entirely. Storm dropping! God, oh, space is so hard to take. You can drop High Templar back here and storm it too. Is this low ground to high ground storm? Mm. 47 SCVs to 60 probes. Yes, this is good. Oh, spending the right side too. Free. Free is just doing the cookbook here. Well, particularly the, the recipe of how to defeat Terran, man. Sacrifice units for tanks. Expand a million times. Set up a home away from home, so if a million tanks do somehow inexplicably show up at your main base and kill everything you have, you have more stuff over here to roll with. It is a strategy older than some people that are maybe watching. I mean, we've been seeing this since the mid-2000s, early 2000s, man. Another Zealot Bomber Rooney here at the 12 o'clock. Defensive Matrix on that tank. Ooh, good storm on that tank. And the Dematrix did help to save it, but more storms are coming in. Ah, and the tank does go down. Okay, so holds on to the base. That's big, right? You got Zealot bombed and stormed, but nothing really threatened this too much. There, oh, this base gets denied. Okay. Fair enough, man. Vulture's getting some work done over here. It's all good. When backed into a corner, the Vulture will stand and fight, but usually prefers to run away or chase down slower, more easily killable prey. That word doesn't work for my documentary. More easily overtaken prey. Uh, more easily defeated prey. Ooh, yeah, defeated is a better word there. Another onslaught from free into this third base. And, okay, I mean, the storms are coming in here. The Protoss is kind of enduring this. The storm softening up those tanks is really nice. And still, oh, free's like, I'm... Still coming out? No, hang on. Reinforcements have shown up. We're backing out. Backing out. We'll kill any vultures that want to fight against us dragoons, though. That's fine. We've got plus two attack. We've got storm available. Yeah, two and upgrades on the mech here. 138 to 140 supply is pretty close. Economically, Freeze having a good time. His extra bases, the extra workers are really nice for him, but... At some point, I don't know. This is getting scary. This Terran is moving down. He's been here before. And he did kill the third base last time he was here. Good storms, though. Great storms. Great Scott. What great storms, I would say. The ends. Okay. Vulture count two. Not as good. Actually, three. Taking some zealots out, though. And unseed siege tanks, man. Yes, yeah, Storm taking down another siege tank. Ooh, High Templar wanders too close to this 
sun there gets killed by a spider mine and another one dies to a tank. Oh my gosh, you're gonna siege up? I'm gonna storm you then. Another tank dies. This is some amazing High Templar stuff. Yeah, almost an Archon in here. It immediately dies because Archons aren't great against mech. At all, actually. We don't usually see Archons in this matchup for that reason. I don't know. Something clumped up. The splash damage can come in handy. Expand in left side is barracks, but... Zealot unloads to kill this SEV and then pieces. Peace, he says. <laughs> that was amazing. That was really funny. Alright, Zealot bombing. I mean, this play from Free has been pretty amazing. The shuttle movement, the High Templar storms, the Zealot bombing's been pretty uh, awesome too. Awesome too. Yeah, I'm 40. I'm a man. I'm 40. My voice still cracks sometimes. That's awesome. Not retaking this right base, but has expanded here. Uh, this is a Terran army that is creeping ever closer. Ever closer to here's the problem with this map for Protoss. If you put an army right here, you can threaten the natural base, the third base, and the main base with the same tank line. It's tough. It is a tough situation to find yourself in. But man, 59 to 49 workers is not good. We going? We're going, really just from one angle, but the Zella bombing, there you go, and the High Templar drops, and the storms, and the softening, and the follow-ups, and the summary executions, and bam, free! Woo! Gets the win as Barracks taps out in 27 minutes. And poor Barracks, his win rate falls even further here today. With another loss to a Protoss, but boy, that was some impressive PVT. Out of free, right? I definitely think so. I mean, Zealot bombs, the, the shuttle play, right? We're just going to put it under the same umbrella as the shuttle play. It was Zealot bombs, it was a High Templar drops, it was Reaver drops. It was dropping a High Templar over here to storm a single SCV to lay this base even further. And yeah, it's, it's another situation of a game where an offensive attempt just peters out. And the Terran player taps out. It's not that he lost any bases. I mean, this one's probably going to die now because this position's been wiped out and he knows he can't hold that. So, yeah, he's four basing against a one, two, three, four, five, six, a seven basing Protoss with way more newer sources of income. That's not going to work out for you. Long term. Long term. That is certainly not going to work for you. Man. That was awesome. I mean, that was that was really, really good. Just overall, the mic the micro here from Freeze APM's two eighty four. It's not like he's playing like an absolute madman. One hundred ninety five thousand points, one hundred seventy one thousand. I guess he's three hundred twenty seven overall APM on the game is a lot higher, but still, not like four hundred five hundred APM or anything. He got out produced by the Terran, but outkilled the Terran, which is nice. 96 buildings were raised, and that's an outspend. A pretty solid outspend here, too, I would say. About, uh, I can't do maths. Around 12, 14, 16,000 resources. 16,000 resources. Final answer. I'm not even going to double check. You guys can tell me if I'm wrong in the comments. I read all the comments. But yo, that was good. Good, good, good stuff there. I'm not. I'm going to be honest. I'm not sure that that reaches the level of uh, DEFCON 1, but that was some excellent shuttle usage for sure. But yeah, that's going to be it for me today. This has been Falcon Paladin coming at you with yet another edition of StarCraft Brood War Remastered. Go ahead, hit that like button. Hit that subscribe if you like what you saw and what you heard today. You can also catch me on Twitter, Facebook, Patreon, and Twitch, all at slash Falcon Paladin. And until next time, as always, thank you so much for watching, and you take care of yourself.